We just got back from Milwaukee Pipeline. We've got a ton of really cool stuff to show you that's launching in 2024 and 2025. From new expansions to Milwaukee's state-of-the-art Forge battery system, to new power tools on the M18 and M12 platforms, plus tons from Packout. We've got the rundown on all the best new tools that you need to know about from Milwaukee Pipeline. And before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content on new tools and power tool reviews. Now, let's dive into the products. Many of the new power tool innovations you'll see in this video were made possible by the launch of new higher capacity Forge batteries. M18 Forge entered the market last year with a lone XC 6.0 battery, but now Milwaukee's added an XC 8.0 and a crazy power dense HD 12.0 pack to the Forge lineup. Since its debut, the aim for Forge batteries has been to bring users more power in a more compact and power rich package. And these batteries deliver on that promise. Looking at the XC 8.0 Forge battery, Milwaukee tells us that it provides the same power as the 12 amp hour standard high output pack, but with a 20% reduction in size and a 30% reduction in weight. When compared to that same standard 12 volt pack, the 12 amp hour Forge battery claims to deliver 50% more power than its predecessor. When paired with the M18 Supercharger, both of these battery packs will charge up to 80% capacity in just 35 minutes, a feat that's possible thanks to the impressive cooling technology built into these batteries and the charging technology that Milwaukee calls Cool Cycle. Between the additional power and minimal downtime that these batteries are set to offer, they'll make an ideal match for some of the higher powered tools and the equipment that you're about to see in the rest of this video. So let's start with tools. We heard rumblings about this release last year and even got a secret hands-on after the 2023 event. But now we can fully tell you about the new generation of Milwaukee circular saws. They built these saws from the ground up with new internal electronics and brushless motor technology designed to pull the absolute most power out of the Forge battery packs. The new seven and a quarter inch Sidewinder delivers 6,000 RPM and Milwaukee tells us that you can expect 750 cuts per charge when paired with a 12 Forge pack. Using the saw briefly in demos, it was super light, only 7.8 pounds, but it delivered top of the line power. You can expect a two and five eighths inch depth of cut and the guard and the shoe are both made out of magnesium. The saw also has an electric blade break, LED work light, rafter hook, and all the fixings that we expect from an 18 volt Sidewinder from Milwaukee. For our demo cuts, we were using Milwaukee's new thick kerf blades, which are a unique innovation in a market that seems to be increasingly focused on thin kerf blades. The thick kerf is designed to net you the straightest cuts through a variety of materials, providing strong performance and stability that you're not going to get from any thin kerf blades. Both the Sidewinder saw and the thick kerf blades are available this month. We got our hands on another saw that's a bit further down the line, and that's the new seven and a quarter inch rear handle. This worm drive style saw boosts the RPMs to 6,300 and should deliver around 700 cuts per charge when paired with a 12 amp hour forge battery. The saw contains positive detents for both bevel and depth. The rotational dust port makes it easy to add a vac or dust extractor and keep it out of your way while you're cutting. And a multi-size rafter hook gives you the option to store the saw in different materials. If you're making many long straight cuts throughout the day or your job calls for additional torque, you're going to be reaching for this rear handle over the sidewinder. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait till early 2025 to get your hands on this saw. But you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. The next tool we got our hands on has been requested for going on a decade now, the M18 Fuel Coil Roofing Nailer. Roofers are going to love this one. It's designed for small roofing jobs and even roof repair jobs. It also has the added versatility of having the power, flexibility, and accessories to handle vinyl siding installation. We got to use it and it's quick. It fires up to six nails per second, which works out to give you the power to sink up to 1100 nails per charge with a CP 3.0 high output pack. And you want to use those smaller packs because you want this tool to be as light as possible. The tool free depth of drive adjustment makes changes quick and easy. And the vinyl siding tip is an attachment. So this tool adapts as you need it to from job to job. The speed is what really hammers it home for us though. It's not just something you're used to seeing or feeling from a cordless tool like this. I've got no doubt that once you guys get your hands on it, you're going to see what I mean. Milwaukee has this tool scheduled to launch in October. The first M12 fuel product on our list from this year's pipeline is the new iteration of the widely beloved Stubby impact wrench. Much like the Forge batteries, the Stubby serves one purpose. 
Give mechanics the absolute most power in as compact a package as they can get it. Again, Milwaukee seems to have delivered because this mini impact delivers 550 foot pounds of max torque. That's a number we scoffed at when we first heard it, considering not too long ago, we were getting those numbers from high torque impact wrenches. The Gen 2 Stubby only weighs 2.2 pounds. And since this is an M12 product, you've got plenty of options for power without adding much to the weight. It gives you a four mode drive control, but this time around, instead of pressing a button on top, you just simply put the impact in neutral and double press the trigger. It'll continue going through the modes as you double press the trigger, and when you're ready to start, just go ahead and put it in forward or reverse. It also has an auto shutoff mode that applies no more than 15 foot-pounds of torque for hand-tight applications that prevent over-tightening when you're using it in forward mode. In reverse, that functions as a bolt removal mode, which will slow down the RPM once the bolt is free, and that helps prevent bolts from flying around your work area. The stubby's pretty durable as it comes, but for many mechanics, they want a little bit more protection. So Milwaukee's also launching a sold separately protective boot to keep the tool safe from corrosive materials and oils. Both the Gen 2 stubby and the protective boot are gonna be available in September. Staying in the automotive sector, Milwaukee's looking to replace another pneumatic tool in the shop with their new M12 Fuel 6-inch Random Orbital Sanders. Designed for the professional body and paint technicians, both the 332nd inch and 316th inch models have a speed range between 3200 and 12,000 RPM, and it's handled by a variable speed trigger that gives you full control over your sanding. Milwaukee tells us that the 332nd inch sander is going to sand clear coats on up to five doors with one M12 battery, delivering a paint-ready finish without the hassle of pneumatics. The 3 16th inch model offers similar runtime, sanding the body filler on up to three doors per M12 battery. Now sold separately are some backing pads, although we'd expect a few to be included in the kits when these sanders launch in January of 2025. In recent years, Milwaukee has made a major push into the outdoor power equipment sector, and this year's pipeline well, it was no different. Let's start with our headlining product, the M18 Fuel 20-inch dual battery chainsaw. This is another tool designed to pull max power from the new Forge batteries, and it delivers performance similar to a 70cc gas saw. Operating at a max of 7,400 RPM, the saw features two power modes, peak power mode and the standard mode. In peak power mode, it produces power levels of up to 5.8 horsepower and 9.5 newton meters of torque. These figures are gonna allow you to make demanding cuts through tough material without bogging down. In standard mode, the chainsaw reaches up to 4.4 horsepower, which lets you prioritize runtime and keep the temperature down while still maintaining and maximizing performance. Now that 20 inch bar length is gonna provide enough reach and cutting power to efficiently fell medium to large sized trees. And that makes it suitable for minor forestry work and for clearing larger areas. For the best balance of power while maintaining the lightest weight, Milwaukee recommends two eight amp hour forge packs and you can expect 60 cuts on a single charge through hardwoods up to 10 inches in diameter. We can't wait to get this one in the shop and test it out in the field. You can expect it to hit shelves in August. That takes care of your tree felling needs, but when it comes to shrubs and lighter duty limbing, the new M18 Fuel dedicated hedge trimmer steps in. The new hedgers come in 24 and 30 inch configurations. The rotating handle and double-sided blades give you full control to comfortably cut up to one and a quarter inch branches from almost any angle. The battery is rear mounted with a top handle that makes for a balanced ergonomic feel. And that's gonna keep you from feeling fatigued if you're trimming hedges for long periods of time. This is going to be a must-have on the truck for you landscape maintenance professionals running Milwaukee systems, and both the 24-inch and the 30-inch models will be available in November. Last year, Milwaukee showed off what quickly became our top cordless string trimmer, their dual-battery 17-inch model. At this year's event, they debuted a slightly smaller, younger brother to that trimmer with the M18 Fuel 16-inch string trimmer. Milwaukee claims performance of up to a 31cc gas trimmer, and it has internals that reach full throttle in under one second. The emphasis on this trimmer is the lighter weight and the better balance, making it ideal for landscape pros that are just maintaining or don't have a landscape job that's quite as demanding. That trimmer will be available in November. For those of you looking for the most versatility when it comes to outdoor power equipment, Milwaukee's got you taken care of with their second generation Quick Lock technology. So this year they've launched that new power head on their Quick Lock system and it's capable of putting out 31 cc of gas power. The new powerhead offers better performance on existing attachments and it opens up a whole new set of possibilities for demanding applications. And two new solutions were showcased this year at the pipeline event. We got to use both the Quick Lock String Trimmer and the Quick Lock Pole Saw. 
Both tools provided almost identical performance to the dedicated tools for those applications that Milwaukee makes. And when we were done with one, we just detached the head and moved on to the next job. Milwaukee has shown unmatched dedication to the Quick Lock system over the past several years. And they've added countless attachments with even more on the way. It's one of the most promising powerhead systems that we've seen and something that you can really confidently invest in. As impressive as all that is, the Packout Rack gives you more options when it comes to how, and more importantly, where you store your Packout components. This modular storage system brings customizable drawer layouts, allowing you to access and organize your tools without the need to unstack them. The Packout Rack can be installed in Ford Transits, Ram Promasters, Mercedes Sprinters, box trucks, shipping containers, and shop walls. And this means every Packout charger, toolbox, drawer, and accessory can now be mounted in a truck or a van, allowing you near infinite customization for your work vehicle. This system is perfect for maximizing storage space and maintaining organization across various work environments. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait until April in 2025 to start building out your pack out rack. But the good news is that gives you time to plan your ultimate layout. In the more immediate future, Milwaukee is launching a pack out compatible structured backpack made from tear resistant layered ballistic material and it has an internal reinforced structure. This backpack features an impact resistant molded base, 42 pockets, and integrates seamlessly with your other packout systems. The packout structured backpack is available right now. The new tilt bin organizer holds 10 removable quick access bins that let you store a variety of materials, parts, and small tools. It's got locking security bars to keep those bins secure during transport, and it can be securely hung or stacked on any other packout components. This will make the perfect Christmas gift as it's gonna be available this December. Now, we're gonna round out our 2024 pipeline coverage with some of the coolest hand tools and job site lifestyle products that we saw this year, starting with the new generation of Milwaukee tape measures. We saw three new variations of the new layout tools in the form of the stud, the wide blade, and the magnetic tape measures. The stud's Milwaukee's most durable tape to date and it remains that way, but they even had a torture test ready to show off on these new models. The fully reinforced impact resistant body and double-sided anti-tear coating on the first six inches of the blade leads to an overall longer life when you're using it in harsh conditions. Now that stud tape measure features a high visibility blade so you can see it in job site environments, especially if you drop it in a ditch or it falls off your ladder. The tape delivers 17 feet of reach and 14 feet of standout, letting you take long measurements on your own and reach further on the job site. Now on their wide blade tape, Milwaukee claims it has the longest reach and the straightest standout in the industry. Again, another claim that they're prepared to back up with a set of pretty cool visual demonstrations. And their magnetic tapes are, well, they're magnetic. They don't offer quite the durability of the stud or the standout of the wide blade, but if you're working around metal and you need reliable measurements, this tape is a solid choice. Milwaukee also offers magnetic options for several of their other models. I like to stay cool on the job site. Milwaukee's launching two new fans on their M18 system. One with a seven inch blade that's compatible with Packout and a full size 18 inch fan. The Packout fan blows air at up to 20.5 miles per hour and at 850 CFM. And that makes it ideal for personal cooling on the job site. You can get over three hours of runtime in high or six and a half hours on 75% speed. The fan's also AC compatible, so with an extension cord, you can just plug it in for unlimited runtime. The variable speed dial and the 300 degree adjustable head let you point the air anywhere you want it. It also comes with IP rated dust and water protection, so you can take this fan anywhere at any time. You can grab the Packout fan in August of 2024. The full size 18 inch fan can cool down your entire shop or job site just about, circulating air at over 50 feet away and at up to 13.5 miles per hour. It's got a reinforced metal base making it durable but surprisingly lightweight. It's got 360 degrees of head rotation and you can expect around five hours of use on high with a 12 amp hour battery. This fan's gonna be available for purchase in February of 2024. Another lifestyle product that caught our eye was the new M18 and M12 job site speakers, which deliver impressive sound capabilities while still being equipped to handle the job site. The M18 Bluetooth speaker features the latest Bluetooth 5.3, and that gives you a staggering range of 200 feet, which means you can stay connected from almost anywhere on the job site. Milwaukee also added a new audio link feature, similar to what we've seen in some existing job site radios and speakers, and it lets you connect a chain of audio devices and extend your audio footprint for a larger sound experience around the job. You've got a built-in equalizer that lets you tune your bass, mids, and treble to your liking, and a USB-C port for charging personal devices. That speaker is going to be available in August of 2024. 
The M12 speaker is a handy pack-out compatible system and it packs a lot of punch in a small form factor. It features a 3.5 inch woofer and multiple onboard controls. It's also audio link compatible, so you can connect it to your M18 job site speaker to extend your range, or you can chain multiple of these together depending on your preference. You'll have to wait a little longer for the M12 speaker as it's not going to be available until January of 2025. The next and the final line of products that we saw is extremely cool or warm depending on how you look at it and that's the all new M12 heated gear. Milwaukee's launching all new jackets and vests with improved heating technology that's supposed to keep you warmer for longer. Whether facing freezing outdoor temperatures or spaces with minimal heat indoors, Milwaukee's new workwear utilizes front and rear heating pads that give you optimal heating throughout the entire garment. The coolest part about this entire launch is the new heated gear power source. Not only does it improve the form factor, creating an M12 system that lays flat instead of being in a traditional M12 battery style, but it takes up less space in your pocket while giving you app control. We got to look at the beta version of the app and it shows you how much charge is remaining on your vest or your jacket, as well as giving you full control over the temperatures. Also can tell you how to distribute the energy across the heating zones. The app even has this extremely unique feature where you tell it how much runtime you need and it's going to automatically adjust the temperature and settings that's gonna ensure that you get at least some heat to last that duration. You got three hours left on the job, tell the app you got three hours and it'll dial in peak performance for you to stay warm for that full time. And there you have it, folks. That's our rundown for the 2024 Milwaukee Pipeline event. Do you have any questions about what we covered in this video? Leave those down in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content on new tools and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.